In this movie I am going to make some recommendations about origins in Vectorworks and how to keep your geometry in a preferred working area. But in order to understand why this is important I just want to talk very briefly about floating point mass. Now I'm not a programmer and I don't profess to fully understand this so I'll just explain it in layman's terms to give you some idea of, of why this is important. So if you draw a rectangle in Vectorworks and that the center of that rectangle is located 365 millimeters from the internal origin of Vectorworks you can see that a number that is 365.0005678956785678 millimeters is a very highly accurate number. Now if you then move that rectangle a long way away, let's say you add uh, a million to that number and so instead of having 365 you have 1,365,000 you're putting um, more numbers before the, uh, the the important number here the 365 and so the decimal point floats along and the mantissa or the fraction here gets reduced and obviously that reduces the accuracy but uh, a number like this would still be okay but if you keep moving further and further away from the origin what happens is that the the mantissa disappears altogether and you're just left with the the whole value and a big big fat number before the important 365 and and so what happens is that operations in Vectorworks can fail or produce unpredictable results and I'm talking about things like you know add surface uh, offsetting uh, a line or a polyline or something like that because the uh, the accuracy has has been degraded so what we try and do is to keep everything within a preferred working environment so that the accuracy of all of the coordinates of the objects that you're drawing are, um, are maintained or, the, or is maintained uh, to a high degree. So here we have a graphic representation of the um, Vectorworks drawing environment. This circle here represents the area that is um, safe to work in preferred working environment I've called it and it has a radius of about five kilometers. Vectorworks has a fixed internal origin that is at the center of this five kilometer area, a radius area. It has a movable user origin and quite often you'll find that there's some drawing geometry that is outside this preferred or safe working area. So what you need to do is to get this drawing geometry inside the preferred working area. Now if we just take a look at the X and Y location of this and you can see it's 5.5 kilometers in the X direction and 2.9 in the Y direction. So if I was to just move this geometry back inside this area here you can see that these numbers have changed now and the objective here is to be able to get the geometry back inside this area but have it maintain the, the same numbers here. So let's just undo that and this is where the user origin comes in and, and you can see that the user origin is currently uh, at the fixed internal origin because the ruler is showing zero kilometers here and zero kilometers over here so that you can always tell the the origin from uh, from the ruler if you're showing the ruler so in order to move this geometry back inside this preferred working area uh, yet still maintain these values here 5.5 2.9 what we need to do is to move the geometry and the user origin by the same amount. So if we take this now and we move this back closer to the fixed internal origin and then I use the set origin command or I use this little icon up here in the corner of the rulers to set the origin and this is not something that I would recommend that you do. So let's go up here to set origin and notice that there's an option here disable dragging for the set origin button 
this is the set origin button here and I would recommend that that is always checked so that you can't change the origin by dragging the ruler. So we want to set the origin to the next mouse click. So we're going to click OK and then we'll click over here and we've now set the user origin to this location here and you can see now 0 and 0 are located at the user origin. So because we've now set the user origin to this, if we look at our drawing now, you'll see that these numbers have been preserved, 5.5 kilometers and 2.9 kilometers, but at the same time our geometry is well within our preferred working environment. And so this is the objective of, uh, of this process, is to keep this geometry inside this area. So what this means is that you always move the geometry to your drawing or to your page outline. You don't ever move the page to the drawing. And the most common way that this is going to happen is when you import a DWG file. And we'll look at the recommendations for that uh, now. So here we have the DXF DWG import options dialog and the part that is relevant to this exercise is this little section here center after import. So when you f import a f uh, your first DWG file into a drawing you should always have center after import and this is because you don't know where the origin of the uh, geometry is and you want it to be placed within the uh, the preferred or safe working environment within Vectorworks. So if you do import uh, a DWG file and you have this checked, what is going to happen is that Vectorworks is going to take this geometry and it's going to put the geometry right uh, centered around the fixed internal origin and it's going to move the user origin so that the numbers that you see within the the drawing here are correct and coincide with the numbers that would have, would have been seen in the original CAD program and that also means that if you then export uh, need to export the drawing it's going to have the same coordinate system so what's happened here is that the drawing geometry has been centered around the Vectorworks fixed internal origin and the user origin has been shifted. So this is why it's really important to not then move the uh, the user origin by any means and that could be by for example clicking this option here and you'll see that because I when I try and do this it just it's just going to beep at me and I get this message here the user origin tool has been uh, user disabled and if we just have a look in here again that's because this option here is checked and that's what I recommend everyone has is to disable this unless you're very confident that moving the origin is not going to have any effect on your drawing. So the thing is that you don't want to be tempted if the geometry gets put way way off the screen like that you don't want to be tempted to grab your page and drag it over this geometry. You know, you, you should let Vectorworks take care of it by using uh, this option here for the first import. Now, what's important then is that if there are any subsequent DWG imports into the drawing that you uncheck this box because the offsets that will happen each time you import a DWG file will compound and so this means that if you imported the same file again it would be offset by double the original distance. So just to reiterate the first import you have center after import checked the second and subsequent imports uh, you have this unchecked and that way your, your geometry is going to be um, within the safe working area. Now it may be that when your uh, geometry does get shifted and centered about the user origin that it was quite wide and if you if we look at this and and say we've got one little building here and one building there and when you zoom right in you actually won't see 
the buildings because they've been centered around the origin and they might be off the screen so if you can't see any geometry after you've done the DWG import then the objective is to click the fit to objects button up here and that will zoom out so that you can see either the selected geometry or if nothing is selected you will see the the whole drawing finally I just wanted to mention a couple of additional resources that uh, you might be interested in reading if you want more information on this subject if you're a member of the VectorWorks Service Select then you will find this PDF document uh, in the tips and tricks section of the VSS portal. Um, if you're not a VSS subscriber then you can go to the VectorWorks KBase which is this address here and if you search for uh, this topic origins and large coordinate values you'll find this article here which gives you a little bit more information.